is your First Alert 5 weather with Sam Schreier. Hello everyone, we have made it to Friday after a long, long week for the country, but let's talk about what's going on here. Temperatures are in the 20s outside. We're pretty close to the teens from Pueblo to Walsenburg, and once we kick some cloud cover out of the way, we very well could drop there. We've got teens out east and the west. We definitely feel the chill out in the mountains and the valleys. High temperatures today are forecast to go into the 40s. 42 in the springs, 45 in Pueblo, a little bit warmer out east, and then some chilly air when you go west into some of the lower valley areas. Yeah, it's just cold everywhere. So let's explore a little bit farther. Today is dry but cold. Tomorrow we start to get some snowfall. That snow is going to favor areas south of Pueblo from the Wet Mountains to the San de Cristos and Walsenburg all the way down to Trinidad. I think that in between that stretch, Aguilar could see a little bit more. So in between Walsenburg and Trinidad where we get a little natural rise in that terrain. Now, in the Pikes Peak region, I think Colorado Springs is looking at a general one to three inches. So for us, that's kind of a lower impact snow. Of course, one to three inches can make things slick, but I like to get a little bit more so to the two to four, two to five inch range before I give this a little higher impact. Looking through the rest of the seven day, we are dry and actually back to the 50s next week. Now Pueblo, a little higher impact. I'm gonna give you a two on the impact scale because I think that you have a chance of getting somewhere between two to four inches and especially areas south of Pueblo. So when you drive south of Pueblo all the way to New Mexico, would be slick with dry skies next week and we're warmer. Canyon City, I've got us at about one to four inches. Canyon City is a little challenging to see if that east wind can kind of pile up the snow into town. We do think we're drier towards the end of the forecast and Woodland Park, about one to four inches. Teller County has a wider range. Woodland Park probably does better than areas like Cripple Creek or Divide, but it's definitely something I'll keep an eye out for.